everyone it's Amy so today I'm going to be doing another pack trades and sales with me video so recently I sold a ton of photo cards they were just a whole bunch of extras that I had laying around and I don't do that very often where I sell a whole bunch in one go but I figure now is a good time then to go ahead and film a pack with me video so I think there's maybe like one trade in here <laughs> and then the rest are all sales that I did. So we have quite a bit to get through. I have already uh, pre-addressed all these envelopes so I am going to be covering that up. And then these are the supplies that I'm going to be using today. I'll run through I guess what I'm going to be using but if you want to go ahead and skip that part I will leave a time code below. Starting off I like to reuse a lot of the cards that I receive from previous trades and sales. Some of these are also my own. I believe I got these ones. They all came in a set. I got these off of Amazon but I also have some that are from Target that I really like as well. Although I feel like the ones from Target, um, the ones that I used to get, the quality has gone downhill quite a bit and they've gotten flimsier. So I wanted to go back to using these ones. And then these other ones are just from previous trades and sales. And then over here, I have a couple different things. I have a standard top loader, which I still have so many of because, you know, I have received so many sales and trades. So I do want to keep reusing them, but I also have these cardboard shipping shields. I got a ton of questions during my previous pack with me video, like what exactly these are and where can you find them? I believe that they're just called shipping shields and I get this from a US website, so I'll leave a link to that below. But yeah, they're just called shipping shields and they are very, very sturdy. They're very protective and they're really great for packing multiple photo cards. I believe it fits up to like maybe 10 photo cards. So it fits quite a lot. And all I do is I just fold that flap down and then I use some of my washi tape and seal it and you're good to go. I do, however, will sleeve the photo cards too just to give it that extra protection and especially you know to prevent any kind of dampness or wetness getting in there. I also have some business cards that I had printed from a company called Moo and I actually unboxed this in a previous vlog not my most recent vlog but the one before that and I love these so much because I put my biases on the backs of these cards and then if you flip it over it has all my information on the back. So I really, really love these a lot too. I also have some tabs for when you put a photo card in the top loader and then it's easy to pull the photo card out. You don't have to have tabs. It's just a personal preference. And then last night I spent some time printing out some new little Polaroids. I showed how I made these in a previous vlog. If you want to check that out, it's not really a tutorial, but it was just sort of like a chill vlog where I was making these. Well, I made similar ones anyways. And yeah, I'm going to be including these. I only printed out the members who uh, corresponds to um, the, the person's bias. So I'm assuming the person who bought Jungwon cards from me is probably most likely Jungwon bias. So I made some Jungwon ones. Same thing with Sunu. I sold a lot of Sunu cards and J cards. So yeah, um, where is J by the way? He is hiding. There he is. <laughs> but yeah, so I printed all these out and then we just have some finishing touches to put on the envelopes. Obviously, you are going to need some kind of postage. Here in the US, we have what are called non-machinable stamps. They are amazing. Please consider using these if you're going to be doing a lot of trades and sales. When you use a non-machinable stamp, it is just so much better for your photo cards. You know, it's not going through the machine and potentially getting stuck. I've had so many horror stories where I have received photo cards that you know, were sent only using one regular postage stamp and it went through the machine and it came completely bent and it was just, you know, you couldn't even repair it. It was just a total mess. So I highly recommend these. I also have some stickers. I did not make these. I bought these, so I'll leave a link to the shop below. 
but they're the boys characters and it just says please do not bend and then these thank you stickers I made these myself um, I just drew my cat <laughs> and then I put thank you on it so yeah okay I am rambling a lot we'll just go ahead and get started I hope that you enjoy it I am going to speed it up a tiny bit but yeah, um, I hope that you will enjoy following along or maybe also pack some trades along with me. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you. 